G'day everyone, Declan from Elros Caravans. Well, today we've got a really hot topic. It's on wheels. We get so many questions from customers all the time in emails or directly here on site. Can I run the wheels off my car on the caravan? There's simply a lot more to it than just slapping on any wheel or rim. So let's go and find out more now. Okay, so let's break it down. Now, first we need to talk some key terms. Offset, bore, spigot, and also PCD. Now, I know it sounds technical, but if you stick with me, it's pretty straightforward and super important. Okay, so the first thing is offset. Now, offset, this is the distance from the hub mounting surface to the wheel's uh, centre line, it determines how far uh, in or out of the chassis rail that your wheel is going to uh, be. A positive offset pushes the, the wheel inwards closer to the chassis rail, whereas a negative offset is going to push the wheel further outwards uh, towards the outside guard of the caravan. All right, so now let's talk about why you can't always run your specific rims that you're running on your car in the same application as you can your caravan. So for example, on a 200 series uh, Land Cruiser, typically the offset on those is a plus 60 from the factory. Now that's significantly uh, positive, which means that the rim itself will encroach onto the chassis rail itself. Uh, so you're going to run into some serious issues if you're running a plus 60 offset on one of our Elros caravans. Now for generally land cruisers, you'd probably be wanting to run at not more than a plus 18 is what we can anatomically fit on uh, an Elros caravan to suit a land cruiser um, stud pattern. So anywhere from a zero to, through to a uh, plus 18 is what we would recommend. Now that means that you can generally get um, the plus 18 onto your cruiser and that also goes for um, some of the 79 series. That's probably probably a bit too positive. Uh, however, for the 200 series, a plus 18 will stick out the guards a little bit. But the main focus from us as a manufacturer is in to ensure that we can get the rim onto your uh, tow vehicle so then you can get down the road a couple of hundred k's to effectively make repairs to your tyre and then, uh, then you can swap it back over and keep your trip going. All right, so now we're moving on to what is PCD. PCD is short for pitch circle diameter. Now, a pitch circle diameter means essentially that it's the fingerprint uh, that your wheel fits onto your particular uh, tow vehicle. So for example, uh, a PCD of a five stud, five 150, like this rim just here, that's typically found on your 200 series and also your LC 76, 79 series. Um, that's really the only um, vehicles that generally run a five 150 um, stud pattern. And then your other most common uh, PCDs that you'll see these days is this um, rim for example here which is a six stud and that's a 
Now, some of the more common uh, vehicles are generally all of your dual cab utes will come in a, a 6x139.7 and also some other vehicles such as the new 300 Land Cruiser, uh, the Y62 Patrol and both of the uh, Chev Silverado LTZ 1500 and the Ram 1500 as well also feature a 6x139.7 pattern. So this is the most common uh, stud pattern that you'll find on the market and the 200 series and LC 7679 feature the 5150. They're the two most common patterns that you'll see running on an Elros caravan. Using uh, some of our suspension arms here as an example, why is PCD uh, crucially important? It's important because if we don't specify your caravan with the right PCD, uh, your wheels aren't going to be interchangeable with your tow vehicle. So one of the first things that we'll ask on a discovery form or the sales team will ask you is what is the PCD of your tow vehicle? Uh, if you're not sure, just tell the, the team the, the name of and type of vehicle it is and we'll be able to make sure that we match the PCD to your tow vehicle and your wheels will be interchangeable. Is some quirkiness to PCD. So there are certain PCDs that Cruise Master themselves cannot spec. Uh, so the most two common sizes that you will see is the six stud and the five stud uh, Land Cruiser pattern. So if you do have something that's a bit of an oddity, still check out with the team and we'll see if it's uh, something that we can get uh, done. But most of the time you'll find that we'll be using a 6x139.7 or the 5150 stud patterns there. Now, moving further along, you've then got thread size. So the thread size can vary quite a bit. So there's, uh, in the 5150 section, most of the time it's gonna be an M14 stud by 1.5. Uh, and then on the six stud side, you'll find that uh, there's a couple of variations in that. So all the dual cab utes and the Prado, they will typically be an M12 by 1.5 stud. And then you've got your uh, M14 stud pattern in the six by 139.7, and that's for your patrol. Uh, also the new 300 series uh, Land Cruiser is also an M14 stud and the, both of the uh, American pickup trucks, both of the Chev and the Ram 1500s, uh, they're both also an M14 stud pattern as well. All right, so once we've established the offset, and once we've also established your PCD uh, of your tow vehicle, so we can set up the caravan, the next crucial part is your bore or spigot which is this center hole space here, which needs to then go over the bearing on the hub of the caravan. So I'll show you now. <sighs> so that essentially means that we can then fit up, tighten up all the lug nuts on here, and you've got a nice flush uh, fit onto the hub of your brake on your caravan. All right, so some of the common issues that can relate to incorrect bore or spigot size is if you choose a rim that has a too small of a bore size, it's obviously not gonna fit uh, over the bearing cap, and then it's not gonna centrally seat onto the hub, which then can lead to a vibration issue. Uh, conversely, if you do a, uh, a center bore size or spigot size of the rim that's too big, uh, it may not align correctly and then you can get a vibration issue from that. So it is essentially important to also make sure that what you are picking or what you are selecting from our range is going to fit and that's why we're here to help you every step of the way with this process. So now you're filled with this information in mind, all that's left to do now is pick your rim choice, right? Well, wrong because it's a little bit more complex than that because not every rim that you see behind me is going to come in the right offset, uh, PCD or spigot size. So it's essential that we make sure that we're fitting a rim that's gonna suit what your goals are. So what we wanna achieve as a manufacturer primarily is we want something that's gonna fit on your car and enable you to get to your next destination 
where you can then effectively make repairs to your vehicle. It will be in an ideal world, we'd love to be able to just run the right offset and you can just interchange all day, every day. But from the car's perspective and how we manufacture our caravans, especially with our chassis, it's just not always possible to line up everything so it's completely perfect. So as long as you follow our advice and you also know a little bit yourself about offsets, PCDs and spigots, we're gonna set up with the right rim for the right application in your case. Okay, so I've, we've come back out to the factory. Another subject that we need to drop onto now is rim size. So there are a couple of rim sizes that we anatomically will run here at Elros. You either get a 17 or you get an 18 inch rim. Uh, that's really just dependent on most tow vehicles these days either come factory fitted with 17s or 18s. Uh, most of the more modern ones come with 18s um, and some of them even 20s now as well. But what we're trying to achieve is we want to make sure that we can get these rims over your brake on your car as well. So there's no issues with the drum brakes or disc brakes on the caravan in terms of 17 or 18. That's plenty more than enough of clearance. Um, however, here's just a distinction of a 18 inch rim on this van here. And then if Naz pans to the left, that's a 17 inch rim there as well. We could go into a whole heap of different uh, things to do with tyre size and profile as well, but we'll probably leave that for another video here. Finally, before we wrap up the end of this video, the last important piece of the puzzle is load rating. And it's essential to make sure that we're picking a rim that is gonna match the load rating or ATM of the caravan. So for example, if you've got a three and a half ton ATM caravan, we must make sure all four of those wheels exceed that three and a half ton rating with their load rating. And it's the same for a 4.45 ton rating also. So here's the bottom line. Picking the right caravan wheel is more than just about looks and matching your vehicle. It's about safety and functionality. Choosing the right specs with offset, PCD and spigot size is gonna help immensely. And at the end of the day, if you've got any questions or queries about it, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and just shoot us an email if you're interested in more videos like this. But that's about it for now, so catch you later.